All right, fellas, what's going on? Denanu here, the man with black privilege. And uh, we're back with some Deus Ex here. Uh, f since the last video, I've uh, walked my way to where we got to go. <laughs> uh, just trying to eliminate downtime and things like that. So I've killed a few cops in order to get to this point. <laughs> and uh, we uh, turned on some security cameras, and that's what they're down there fighting right now. So uh, we got to work our way over here. And uh, we have to rescue those people that were in prison. So let's see if we can uh, sneak our way over here and get that done. More of my imprisoned brethren. And we already, like, I've stealthed my way through this whole section and killed all the cops, <laughs> for the most part. Um, I didn't straight up kill them. Um, I killed some of them, but uh, we just knocked them out, most of them, so... Alright, let's see if we can go in here and uh, see what we gotta do here. I remember Well, I'm trying to, but, you know, I'm trying to talk to the guy, but he just won't be quiet. <laughs> All right, how do we open this door? Oh, probably this here. All right, hack. Let me do this, grab this, grab this. And the um, just the reason I decided to cut out a lot of the stuff is, from what I understand, and I could be wrong, but so far this feels like a lot of back and forth. Like, it's, you know, it, it stretches, you know, like the length of the video <laughs> by a whole lot when I have to, you know, do combat to get to a certain area. I mean, I personally don't mind showing it, but already, like, every time I make a video, it's like 45 minutes to an hour long anyway. Um, so, that's why I'm trying to cut out some of the, uh, the fluff, so to speak. We, uh, I also, I didn't do any side missions, but I walked around the areas just... Just trying to uh, clean out my inventory and everything, and I made a way back to, I made my way back to the uh, the weapon dealer that's that's in the apartments in this area, and we uh, got some different stuff. Let me show you that too. I cleaned out my inventory, uh, crafted a bunch of items and stuff like that, but I've also bought this shotgun from them too. See the shotgun here? This is like I guess maybe like a unique shotgun in the game. Um, I forget what it does specifically. But um, if you go to customize here, see how the ammo capacity and the rate of fire is maxed out. Uh, I think I bought that from the guy. I think that was like five, uh, five hundred, not five hundred dollars, five thousand dollars in order to buy that. He also had a, a souped up battle rifle that that we can also buy from him. But I decided not to do that because you know don't really particularly need them. So uh, let's see combat rifle. Okay, so yeah, let me um, get rid of this here just just for the space. We might have to uh, use some items or to get some things done because my inventory is kind of full. So. I knew it, man. I knew you were one of them all along. Do I look like I'm one of them? I can feel my hands right now, but if I could run a search for shadowy extra government agent on the net, pretty sure it's all you. Fair point. What happened? You pulled a freedom of information speech on the state police. Ha! Fucking ha! They didn't wait for a speech, man. Lesson learned. Smash the state before the state smashes your nose. Little K asked me to get you out. She's the K now, man. I'm a liability to Semistat. She cares about you, Yarrick. She didn't want to leave you or Bones behind. Always was a cool cat, man. One of the good ones. She wrote the wheels come off 16 years ago and the conspiracies just keep checking out. Everything except the gray aliens, but... Who's to say that's not a metaphor? If she wrote the book... Ah, uh, 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 I don't believe in authorial intent. You told me you were a liability to Sam's dad. How do you figure that? Because the cops burn me, man. Exposure is death. They didn't have to ask a single question. Just took my DNA off their knuckles. My high school dropout date, my sister's parking tickets, my dark night proxies. Oral Cemetery. Oral Cemetery? They didn't get a lot of mainstream airplay. Anyway, a little case shouldn't have sent you. Sammy's death has to be bigger than any man or woman. 
Samizdat is bigger than you now, Yarrick. The Resistance reached further than you planned for. You want to fall on your sword? There's a better place to do it than in a holding cell. Whoa, whoa! You know I use the term liability real broadly. <laughs> I might have known you wouldn't keep your heads down during the riots. This is what a radical news source lives for, man. Lives and dies for. But the helmets on the streets, the extreme peacekeeping, that's not about the Gollum riots. How are the Ogs gonna get over here? Carpool? No. Someone, somewhere, wanted the cops to clean house in Pride. And this is just the beginning. What if they could call martial law anywhere, anytime? Cops without borders. That's your prediction, huh? You can take it to the bank, man. The Palisade Property Bank. I warned you about picking a fight with Pikus. They've got a lot invested in protecting the message. Would I be talking to you now if Pikus had got to us? I mean, does Eliza Kassan have a sense of humor? All those bombs going off lately. What's one more in the sewers? A BTW? Those are all rhetorical questions. You don't say. But they're trying, man. Bones heard the cops talking about extraordinary rendition. What a wonderful connected world we live in. When they can pin an acronym on you, ARC, NSF, who gives a right sass, and ship you off to a black site on the UN's credits. Just how many states are you an enemy of? All the corporate ones. There's a way out of Prague for you both. The Sam is that resistance has organized everything. We just need to keep our heads down and get to the cleaners nearby. The cleaners? <laughs> Irony. Wait, you mean going through the cops? Mm. Let me have him wait here. It's bad out there right now. Keep your heads down and don't leave here until I tell you to. I'll be back. Okay. Okay, I get it. Good. I'm gonna take another look outside. Well, technically I could take a look from here. I mean, I've already dealt with everybody. <laughs> oh, there's somebody. I remember you. And there's a mech guy all the way up there. Alright. Sam, is that saw all this coming? We're prepared, man. All we need to do is get to the rendezvous. The cleaners nearby. Eh, he should be alright. There's a police locker in the corner that should be stocked with uniforms. Find something that fits and try to look convincing. We need the cops to think you're one of them. Good. It's time to go. Alright. Yeah, that's the only guy we gotta deal with. If we have to go that way. Since he's the marker, I'm not sure. I mean, do I gotta... I'm assuming I gotta follow him, but... I don't know where I'm gonna... Okay. Guess we're going down the street. All right. If we're, if we're going this way, I might have to deal with that guy. Yep. Let me deal with him. Yeah, we dealt with every cop. Because <laughs> um, I was killing cops and um, I just wanted to pick up items and stuff like that. So I didn't even know I was going to have to escort this guy through here. So. I'm glad I did do that. Because what I was doing, when I was going around killing the cops and everything, or knocking them out rather, I was going to the different areas of town trying to see if I can get more side missions, but so far I didn't really get any new ones besides the, you know, this one here, so. What were you saying? So I think I'm pushing the end of the game. I think next time I leave town is going to be the end of the game, so. Okay, That's what it feels I'm like. Yes, exit plans, man. Exit plans. Always be making them. We worked this contingency plan out when we started Sammy's death. Didn't think it would actually come to this, though. No one thought it would be like this. You're going to need these documents where you're going, wherever that is. I hear Paris is the best place to have a revolutionary agenda these days. If you want to come along, you can be the muscle. Well, 
Whatever your arms are made of, the stuff they use on space shuttles. No can do. I've got a previous engagement. I really can't mess. Right. With the cardboard box company. Watch yourself out there, Kay. Kay? Kay is Kazdi, man. Kay is everyone. You're part of it now. All right. I'm trying to think. Since that's done, do we have any other side quests we can do before we go do the main story mission? No. All right. Let me go meet Miller. Uh, let me go activate that, I guess. You got that piece down here. Oh, practice kit. Hold up. We can use that. Don't know how, but we can definitely use that. Let's see, we got two points. Could get my armor up, but I really don't use that a whole lot anyway. Mm. Thermal armor. Hmm. Yeah, super armor uses up way too much by cell energy. Yeah, let me get that. At least that'll make me a little bit tougher, so. Is this the, uh, yes, Tech India. I got some stuff I can sell you, bruh. Hey, I think I'm going to play through this game again. Um, I don't know if I'm going to record it. I know normally I, I play uh, Deus Ex games like two or three times through when I play them. So I probably won't record it unless you guys really, really want me to. But um, I know there's a few things that I have yet to go back and, and, and get in this playthrough since we made different choices. So like uh, I know when I play through it again, I want to do that bank mission because I'm assuming I missed out on all of that stuff because the, uh, you know, I chose to do the other side of that. So I'm, I know we didn't go through the bank vaults and stuff like that. I don't know if I can go back to it now. I probably can't because I don't have the um, the elevator key card in order to get down there since we didn't do that mission. You know the world governments don't want us to find out their dirty secrets, but we will, and you can help us. Okay, come on, guy. Thank you. Do business. Sure. But um, what I may do is when I play through the game a second time. I may go back and record those missions and stuff and upload them to this um this playlist. So grateful. Take this. A gift for a truth. So I may just decide to do it that way. Okay. Let me sell some stuff. Sell this revolver ammo. I can sell this sniper rifle ammo since we don't have we don't have that no more. I sold that and bought that shotgun. And we got tons of shotgun ammo now. We got combat rifle ammo, pistol ammo. We don't have a battle rifle. We don't have a revolver. Well, I do have a revolver, but I'm going to save that for my next playthrough because that's actually in my uh, my pre-order pre inventory. I think when I play through it again, I'm going to use different guns. I'm going to use like uh, the revolver instead of the pistol and uh, maybe use the EMP instead of, you know, like try to use other guns instead. So I know this uh, this playthrough, I didn't use shotguns all that much. So instead of, let's say, the combat rifle, I might use a shotgun and the revolver. Do it that way. Yeah, definitely give me that. I probably won't need this, but... It's better to need them and not have them. I think I have like 15 multi-tools on me or something like that. Uh, stop worm. My hacking is decent, but... I mean, we could just buy like his whole inventory in and make it work. Alright, we're done with him. I'm good for now. So long, Mr. Mirror Shades. And if I remember right, the office is right around the corner. Because it's like, 
I mean, I don't know if I'm pushing the end of the game, but it just feels like it feels like the next time I leave town in the little airship, that's it. That's the end of the game. Breach content unlocked. Oh, that's probably because I'm, um, no sense I'm here. Let's do this. Now, this one should not shoot me, but it should shoot them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> die, die, die. <laughs> Just think of this as my own personal machine gun. Yeah, what's up, Mac guy? <laughs> yeah, I have unlimited bullets. Not reloading. Up, down, down you go. Anybody else want some? Uh, I guess they want to take all the fun out of it. Alright, I guess we're done. Yeah, I used to do that in a uh, <laughs> human revolution all the time. All right, before we go in there, let me search these bodies here. Ah, oh, that's not a police one. All right. Augmented entrance. That's how they feel, man. Fuck, man. Fuck Prague, man. They're so wrong for that. All right, let's go clock back in. See what Miller has to tell us. Adam, it's David. We need to talk in private. Nothing's more private than my info link. I'm not so sure. I've sent a secure vid call number to your smart home system. Get to your apartment and call me. Why didn't you call me when I was in that part of town, sir? I forgot. Okay. So we'll go deal with that as soon as I leave from here. Because I'm assuming Miller's going to have us leave, so. Delara, what are you doing here? Is that going to become our standard conversation starter? I'm serious, Delara. It's dangerous outside. Non-essential staff should be home. How did you even get... Ouch. Non-essential. I just meant work with me Adam I was trying for a little levity truth is watching Pika's news hearing that the mobs were getting closer to the city I was reminded of let's just say I thought being three stories below ground was better than staying in my apartment so I called in a favor and got state police to escort me in listen I can tell something big is happening so I don't want to keep you You doing okay, Delara? Look, Adam, I didn't tell you why I left Lim International. That I was in session with a patient when the incident hit, and that I was... You were attacked. Her name was Madeline. She was 13. A really sweet kid. One minute we were talking, laughing actually, about something silly I'd said, and the next she was... She... It was a terrible day for everyone after I fought her off she she just stared at me like she was totally aware you know but not in control God, Adam I could see in her eyes that some part of her was still in there locked away and she was terrified Delara I'm sure the girl Madeline her name was Madeline you know the part that I'll never forget though the thing that keeps just replaying in my mind over and over Right before she jumped out of my office window, I could swear she was crying. Believe me, Delara, I know how you feel. You know what I think? I think we're stronger than that day. I think the scars we carry are like armor now. Like armor? Hmm, I like that. Guess I just... Got a little spooked, you know? I understand. But regardless of the reason, you took a risk coming back here. 
These are dangerous times for everyone. You don't need to worry about me, Adam. I'll be fine. I'll just hunker down in my office until the storm passes. Besides, I hear I have a very comfortable couch. Just take care of yourself. I always do. Okay, kind of a useless conversation, but shows her character, so it's not too bad. I feel like Jensen is kind of keeping everything to himself. Like, he knows exactly what happened that day, and he's not telling nobody anything. All right, let's see what Miller has to say. Boss, what's up? I understand that, but I have agents scattered around this city. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There is a Bishop to Rook for danger. Exactly. See, I don't want to be rude and interrupt them while they're on the phone, you know. My mama raised me better than that. Keep arresting them. Do you want more people to die? We got this. A shot we have jurisdiction for all you need to get through the day. Where? Don't give me that crap. I need safe passage around this city. And now for a close look yes, at events in the That's what I'm trying to tell you. The city's in lockdown, I get it, but I'm in the middle of a level one threat investigation here. You do understand we are trying to stop terrorists here. I understand that, but I have agents scattered around this city. All right, he's just repeating himself. That's what... You made it. Hell of a time for a lockdown. More like convenient, given everything that's happened in this investigation so far. What does that mean? They knew I was coming. Marchenko and the gold mask from Dubai. Somebody tipped them off. Are you accusing me? I'm not accusing anyone, yet. But two ambushes in less than a month? I want to know what's really going on. So do I. McCready dug into Garm. Started out as a geological research center, funded by the European Union, until 2025, when it was purchased by a nameless shell company. You put Chang on it? That kid scares me. Tracked it back to Bell Tower Associates in under an hour. I take it no one purchased it when Bell Tower went bankrupt last year. Wasn't even listed on the asset sheet. So like I said, you stumbled into something big. Care to focus on figuring out what it is? Chicane debriefed me while you were flying back. Leon sent in a strike team. Got there about an hour after you two slipped out. And the mercs were gone. Did a pretty good job of trashing the place before bugging out, and left a few booby traps behind. So we have no idea where they went, or what they're planning next. Not necessarily. I heard Marchenko talking to his men. He said something about finalizing a deal with the Diwali. We need to move on this now. I'll get a search warrant for that old Diwali-owned theater on Zardibi Adlam Street. You really think we have time for a search warrant? No, but with the city under lockdown, I can't guarantee you'll make it over to the Red Light District alive. I got here, didn't I? Nobody's killed me yet. All right, fine. I won't stop you. Just be careful out there, Jensen. Let me know what you find. Copy that. Okay. You do understand we are trying to stop terrorists here. <laughs> Stay on his phone. That's right. I know y'all are impressed. Y'all wish y'all can fall like me. All right. So I'm guessing we either got to go back to the red light district or to the theater. And I think we already been to the theater and took out everybody. So. Mm, get inside the criminals. Echoes in the red light district. I can learn more. See, is this the theater we was at before that had the stage and the seats and everything? Because I don't remember. I'm assuming the red light district is like where the strip club and stuff was. And I don't remember a theater being there unless they have a whole other part that I haven't seen before. Ah, oh, well. 
if it is the theater that I went to before, and then we've ki already killed everybody there, so we just gotta walk to the objective markers, and that'll make things easy. Maybe I can knock this mission out real quick. I probably gotta go back down there to where that guy's fancy computer was. Maybe activate something on that. Oh, okay, I can't leave out the main door since the lockdown. Who's here? Who is this? It's Daria. From the crime scene. Do you remember? I'm at home. The apartment across from yours. Please, hurry. I need you one thing. Are you still there? Daria. Alright, scratch that. We are working our way back home. We can uh, save her and knock that Seraph mission out as well while we're there. Alright, gotta hurry. I don't want it to be like the bank and then wind up messing things up. Uh, let me activate um, the side missions that we had nowhere to go. Here we go. Okay, that's where we're going. Yeah, might as well do that. And then we can come back and do this, uh, the volley stuff. 